three, maybe four weeks ago, my wife and I had a date night, and we were we were sitting in a restaurant, and uh, we were just talking, waiting for our, our meal to come. And in the course of the conversation, my wife just out of the blue asks me a question. And this is the question that she asked. She said this, this is her question. She said, what is greater than fear? That was her question. What's greater than fear? Now, of course, right away, the pastor in me comes out and I begin to talk about and give a couple of answers. My first answer, I remember I said, well, faith, faith is greater than fear. You know, and, that, that, and she said, yes, you're right, that is true. But I sensed that there was something else that she was wanting to zero in on. I, she said, yeah, that's right, that, that, that is true, faith is great. So then I said, well, love, the Bible says perfect love casts out fear. And uh, she says, yep, you're right again, love is greater than fear. But again, I got a sense that she was, that there was something else. So finally, after a number of other guesses, I said, well, what is it? You tell me, what's, what's the answer to that question you asked? What's greater than fear? Her answer actually shocked me. I, I, and I have to say that it, it, it shocked me, it stirred something in me, and because of it, God just focused me right away, instantly, on this chapter, on this story, and I began to see the truth of her answer in other parts of the scriptures as well. It shocked me. And it also, not only just for this message, but I believe with all my heart, it has given me, and, and hopefully the whole church here, a focus now, a direction to go for this new year, something to, to push towards. So I asked her, well, what's, what is, what's the answer? What's greater than fear? This is what she said. She said one word. So I said, what's greater than fear? She looked at me, she said, curiosity. Now I stopped there for a minute and I went, curiosity is greater than fear. Then all of a sudden something flashed down inside of me. I began to remember all the things. How many times have you seen on the news people have, have, have faced things and, and put their lives in jeopardy because they've been curious about things. People have stopped on sides of the road to get pictures of bears and wild animals, got out of their car, unreal, not realizing, forgetting the danger of what they just put themselves in, but out of curiosity. And I begin to realize that the fact of the scriptures is true as well. Curiosity is greater than fear. Sometimes we get so curious about a certain thing that we forget the fear of the moment. And I begin to see that in scripture. Moses, when he's out into the wilderness with his, with his sheep, he sees a bush that's on fire. And he's so curious about it. He says, I'll go over and I'll look at this thing. And that curiosity that drew him closer changed his whole life. And he went from leading sheep to leading an entire nation free. It changed him. He had an encounter with God. And in that moment, you see again David's curiosity when he's out in the field. The first time we're introduced to David, he's out with his father's sheep. And his father calls for him because Samuel had come and, and, and to, to anoint the king. And out of curiosity, he leaves his sheep and rushes home to see what his dad wants. Curious as to what his dad wants. And the next thing he knows, he's anointed the next king and changes not only his life, but an entire nation again is changed. All down through, we came through Christmas and, and the, the, the shepherds are out in the field after hearing what the angels are saying. Out of curiosity, they say to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing. I need to see this. They're curious to see it. And their whole lives are changed. The wise men see a star and their, their lives, their whole course of their lives are directed to follow. And it leads them, and their curiosity leads them. So fear, sometimes curious, just being curious. And my prayer suddenly for this new year is that I pray that God makes all of us here in Shemaine's Pentecostal a group of curious people. I'm wondering, I wonder what God is going to do this new year.